my project is the secret history of American River people. I set out with the goal of trying to find whether there were people still on the river who had enough memory of the way things were 50, 100 years ago at a time when there used to be immigrants and people of color and poor people and indigenous folks um, living alongside the river. The piece involves a recreated 1940s uh, era shanty boat. There's also a, an art installation component where the shanty boat and an, an installation that contextualizes it um, shows up in museums or galleries. Then there's also an online component that is a interactive web documentary as well as an academic archive. So all these pieces are like part of it. So when one walks onto the shanty boat, one can pick up a book from the library or browse the archives, uh, the physical archives of the people who live alongside the river. People who are visitors to the project come and they share their stories and they become part of the archive. And then there's this installation component where people can experience through the interactive web documentary the the stories that people tell, photos from the journey, photos that contextualize the lives of these people. I had this idea of trying to track down some of that living history. And so I did this field work where I was on the river for a month and change and um, had a chance to talk to, well, really hundreds of people, but I interviewed um, dozens. So my hope with Secret History is that people have an opportunity to learn more about the river. These rivers are not incidental to our lives, and so we're all river people. And so my original hope was that, you know, the, the things I would learn through the history of these people would be something that all of us could get something out of. I want to challenge the idea of history as told like history with a capital H as told as this grand arc, this grand narrative of great men and nation states and, and conflicts and agreements. I hope that in hearing these stories that people will examine their own lost history and their own stories and consider those part of history and re-examine like the fringe edges of society.